F1 manager 24 time here for the Canadian Grand Prix. In practice one, it was P20 and P21, beating Kushmini. In practice two, it was P21 and P22, with Ollie uh, Lando Norris topping it. Yeah, Ollie Behrman topping it. Setup satisfaction, great apparently. P21 and P22, with Max Verstappen topping free practice one. 99% uh, confidence for Behrman, 95 for Lawson. The drivers are high in confidence as we head into Quali. Qualifying is coming up, and the drivers will be ready and raring to go. The circuit Gilles Villeneuve isn't a permanent track, so circuit evolution is high over the Grand Prix weekend. Overtaking is possible, but getting a well-timed lap in qualifying will help any driver. And of course, there's the Williams driver. Crew, how do you think they'll fare today? I'll say this, it's always a pleasure seeing a confident driver take to the track. Being in the right frame of mind is a real advantage. Stay with us as we see who can deliver on motorsport's biggest stage. Just configuring the cars ready for um, qualifying two, no qualifying one. Ready, basically putting two ch chassis, new chassis on both cars and new underfloors on both cars, which will lose us around about seven and a half kilos of weight, which is really crucial for us, but it has put us about five million pounds in debt. So we will need to try and recover that as Behrman is on a green sector, Lawson's on a green sector as well. Hopefully we can try and get with seven kilos shaved off the car. Maybe this can start to be this can be the start to our season, you know, really try and build momentum and get some solid results. Interesting to note that Norris has a mechanical failure, so I wonder if he swap, swaps engine for Q2 or race day as Behrman goes P13 for now. Lawson comes around the final corner, up towards the line. What's he going to be? Where's he going to go? Bowed away, we're back on the controller for this. Lawson goes P10. Superb lap, currently P16 and p 19 trying to get a car into q2 for just the second time this season in what what's this now nine races yeah i think this will be nine races so we've got spain and austria both of which i've filmed because if you want to watch this live you can go over to my twitch mega gamer 8888 where i do all content every single video i make on all of my channels whether that be Mega Simulator Gamer, Mega Manager Gamer, or Mega Gamer F1, all of it is streamed on Twitch. Anyway, Lawson goes up to P16 for now. Ollie Behrman's going to try and have a crack at it. Up towards the line. Where is he going to go? What is he going to do? Goes towards the line. P16 beats Lawson for now. They're both on their end up. Yeah, so that's him beating Lawson no matter what. Lawson is out. The two, three drivers on fast up. Both of our cars are now out of Q1. And it's going to be P19 and P20 here in Q1. We've shown that we have more pace, but we need to utilise it now on the race day. The Grand Prix await our drivers here in Montreal. Named after the legendary Canadian driver, the circuit Gilles Villeneuve has been host to plenty of first-time winners. Jean Alesi, Lewis Hamilton, Robert Kubica and Daniel Ricciardo all got their maiden victories here. Gilles Villeneuve is a quick, free-flowing circuit in parts, with a stop-start aspect thrown in for good measure around the chicanes and hairpin bends. Medium-speed downforce will play a large part in avoiding the wall of champions and ensuring success at this iconic track. The excitement is building, there's electricity in the air, but there's no surprise in that, it's race day. Ignore the weird audio as I decide which strategy to go for. Soft, soft, medium for Lawson and soft, medium, soft for Ollie Behrman. Or medium, medium, hard, aggressive and all. Well, actually, that could work, you know. Yeah, that could work. We'll try two very different strategies and see what Welcome we can do back, if this could be our first points finish of the season. Head into the race. If Pierre Gasly's feeling the pressure, 
He's certainly not showing it. There's no hiding from the fact that this is going to be a difficult one. P-22 and a strong field that won't want to yield. So let's see what today has in store, shall we? The drivers are ready and raring to go. It's the Canadian Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Lights out and away we go here at the Canadian Grand Prix. Lawson gets a better start than Batman on the soft versus the mediums. He's actually going to go around the outside of Logan Sargent as well. Constantino and up through the slow speed corners of one and two. We won this race in the Mercedes career mode. Go check that out. Uh, yeah. Make sure to check out the Mercedes career mode on Off Manager 23 because that was a banging, banging career mode. Uh, this is Lawson happened. currently P17. Right, let's follow the Behrman down to P21. We're going to watch his overtake. Opens up for them. Very late on the brakes. Bold, brave, and brilliant. Well, hopefully, if the car becomes quicker, our targets, our sponsor targets, we can have better sponsor targets and try and get in the top 18 of both cars and claim back a million of this debt every race. As Behrman now overtakes Gasly. We've got a lunge into the hairpin. As taking advantage of the Constantina effect. That's a lovely move. Ollie Behrman now goes around the outside of one of the Williams cars. That's also a lovely move. Doesn't hit the wall of champions. Uh, Logan Sargent now overtakes Liam Lawson. And Pierre Gasly now tries to overtake Ollie Behrman, but can't quite do it. Is he going to go flying around the outside? He is. Ollie Behrman is now down to P21, I think. As Liam Lawson sends a lunge in on the hairpin at Logan Sargent, and that is him in P17. As Joe is now trying to fight Oli Behrman, what is going on with Oli Behrman's pace? The car clearly isn't the worst. So why he's performing the worst I've seen is unknown to me. Logan Sargent now goes past us. And Oli Behrman, oh no, this is still Liam Lawson. Fighting Logan Sargent, we're going to get him with the DRS, the double dose, because there's only one detection point here. Sargent now re-overtakes us, we re-overtake Sargent, Sargent's then going to re-overtake us. Ali exits the chicane with the help of the DRS, and, and so does Alex Albon. They've got a fault with the car. As Sergio Perez has a mechanical issue. Not a mechanical fault, but hopefully he will. As now Zhou Guan Yu has a mechanical issue. If all these guys DNF, we could be looking at a very good finish here today. And Zhou Guan Yu's is orange, as Russell now has a mechanical fault. The power units are tumbling here at this Grand Prix. We've got a Ferrari, a Red Bull powertrain, and a Mercedes powertrain all in the bin here. The only one that isn't is Renault Engines, and that's the one we picked. Down the inside of Gasly goes Liam Lawson. He's now fighting with Gasly. Yeah, he gets the place. Gasly doesn't have a response. As Logan Sargent, is he, what's he going to do? Is he going to go for... And that's Liam Lawson dives down the inside, very good move, bold move, brave move, but a good one nonetheless. Lawson retakes the place. There. Oh dear, that's not what they need right now. And Piastri now has a mechanical fault, so another Mercedes engine. I cannot upshift, guys. A Zhou Guan Yu cannot upshift, he's now got an orange fault. Oh, never mind, he's got a terminal fault. Zhou Guan Yu's race is over. And Kevin Magnussen's going to try and go down the inside of Liam Lawson. I think that was. Nice move, to be fair to him. Lawson comes into the pits. Sorry if you can hear the dog barking. On go the new tyres, 2.9 seconds. Decent stop, out in P21. He just got to push as hard as he can to try and rescue his race and rescue yeah, a right. solid result. It looks like they've developed a fault. George Russell's engine fault is getting worse. Now gone to orange. Um, Bearman comes into the pits. Uh, yeah, hopefully. Hopefully some of these guys DNF so we can get a better finish. New tyres go on. 2.8 seconds stop. Oh, it looks like a pit stop issue. Come back out in P21 as Norris has had a pit stop issue. 
and Stroll has now got a mechanical now, issue, or his mechanical issues got worse, it's I can't remember. But yeah, right, not long after finding out Stroll has a mechanical issue, I don't know if it was mechanical related or not, but he goes straight off down at the hairpin at the end of the lap, that will lose him quite a bit of time. Um, now Sergio Perez's fault has gone to orange, He's, his fault is getting worse. It looks like they're carrying um, some kind of fault. And now Oscar Piastri's fault is getting worse. Everyone but is going to go bang happening. at the end of the Surely Grand Prix. Some kind of fault. And I believe that might be Lance Stroll's race over. I don't know why I was watching him. Is it? No, it's not his race over. They just decided we'll show another bit of Lance Stroll. As Lawson comes into the pits on lap 39. Yeah, that could be three cars DNF'd. We'd be... Well, we'd get our targets no matter what, because there's one DNF. I went for P20 and P21 as the targets here, I do believe. Also now in P20. And next to Fernando Alonso. Engine feels quite down, he said that twice now. In the exact same tone of voice, I wonder why. Uh, yeah, all the four defaults are now orange. Alex is fuming. Got hydraulic failure. George Russell out of the Italian Grand Prix. And Alex Albon is having a similar issue, we know that. Perez has now had a mechanical fault, it's his race over. I don't know, but he's fighting Lewis Hamilton, I think that is. Yes, Perez's race is over. Behrman is coming in for his final stop of the day for a hard compound attire. Pierre Gasly is going to go for Liam Lawson on the overtake. Down with the DRS in towards the chicane. Halfway down the straight gets the DRS. If you want to follow me on Twitch I'll be live playing some F122 later and tomorrow we'll be playing F1 Manager 24 uh, for the British Grand Prix. As Alex is now on an orange fault, Lando has just developed a yellow fault, and Stroll is now out of the Grand Prix, I think, or oh, he's got an orange fault. As Ricardo goes through, he has now got a fault as well. Everyone's got a fault. Yeah, that's Stroll out of the Grand Prix. Stroll is out of the Grand Prix, and he has a fault right in front of one of our cars. As Lando's yeah, fault now develops to an right orange. Now. And Logan Sargent is going to go for a dive yeah, bomb right. on Liam Lawson, I think that was. Now yeah. this was at is that Lando out? Not a lot of What's this about? Here. I don't know. I think that was Crofty saying he's clearly the got a fault with the car. car and he's clear. probably just said so the same thing for Daniel Ricciardo because I don't think he has a radio message. Or is it going to be his teammate? His teammate dive bombs him and breaks his front wing. That's not good. As uh, that's Sergeant going down the side of Lawson, as Hulkenberg fancies a little trip towards the barrier down at turn two. As Oscar Piastri, is he going to lock up or is, he, is his race over as well? Albon, Stroll, Perez, Russell, Joe, all out. We're currently P14. Sergeant's going to dive on us for P14. And coming up towards the flag. No, no. Oh, by nothing. We missed out on P14, our best ever finish. By nothing. I think that is our best ever finish, but still. P15, Behrman gets his joint best finish, P17, but didn't outpace anyone. It is what it is. The cars showed massive steps forward. We hope to take these, this progress into Spain and into Austria That's and into Silverstone race. and the coming races, and we hope to revive this debt. But that was a big step forward in today's race. Six, which will bring in a few points. And no doubt, the Stappen fans will be celebrating the Dutchman's achievements. It almost feels like it doesn't need saying after a seventh win, but another stunning performance today. Plenty of smiles for the cameras as the drivers can let off some steam here in Montreal. Well, Karun, 
How do you think they'll be feeling in the team garage at the end of that? It was a strangely mixed weekend for them. We saw one driver put in a strong performance, but it was a different story for the other. Definitely positives there, though. And that's it for this weekend's F1 action here in Montreal. Formula One will be back to Europe for the next round on the shores of the Mediterranean with some heated competition to look forward to in Spain. So Max Verstappen wins, Charles Leclerc, Carlos Sainz, P2 and P3. Um, yeah, P20 and P22 in the driver's standing. Sargent actually gains a place on Gasly. So no doubt we would have gained a place on Gasly if we had been there. I don't know why post-patch, because this was the first race I'd done post-patch. I don't know why I hate, uh, our suits are so ugly, but anyway, we move, we move. Kick actually scored a point, so they've gained three places in the constructors. We got no points in the DHL fast pistol board. Uh, yeah, we get 500k for that race weekend. Nice, new underfloor design, yeah, we built it. Yeah, we're in debt by 6.6 .6 million, and we have to replace new parts, uh, and which we can't really do, so we're going to have to revert to an old spec. Uh, contract accepted, Enrico Carr, the new technical director, facility upgrade. Hopefully Enrico Cardi can speak to Diego Tonde and make him want to join the team. Because that would be epic. Um, but yeah. Oh, don't do... Oh, why have I done an emergency on the suspension? Oh, that's bad. We're now 11 million in debt. This is what's put us in the hole. Because I'm now watching this back going, oh yeah, this is the problem. Diego Tonde, yes. New head of aero. Ferrari's head of aero and technical chief joining us next season. We might not we might not be able to do any research or any development because of lack of funding. But make sure to like and subscribe because season two is going to be poggers now. Let's go. What signings those were?